Well, <clears throat> I just want to thank the people that have wished me a happy birthday today. I turned the number after 39. Can't say it right now, but uh, yes, I turned another age. Anyway, I uh, I missed you guys. I haven't uh, made a video in like about two weeks. So uh, this is going to be unedited, unfiltered, uninterrupted. So if I fuck up, I am not going to stop it or pause it. I'm just going to stall over and do it all over again. First of all, I'd like to say that I have been drinking. Yes. I have been drinking a lot since Saturday. Whiskey. I've been drinking a lot of whiskey. You know, I'm surprised the way that I drank that my liver is still functioning because wow, I drank a lot. I, I drank a lot. I don't understand how that happened. I don't know why I drink a lot. I just I just like to drink because fuck it, you know. Sometimes you just need to just drink it out, you know. And by the way, there's like how much whiskey is in here? Two and a half shots of whiskey in here. <sighs> Have I mentioned that I'm fucking drunk? Anyway, I'm just going to keep going. If I fuck up, I'm going to start all over again. Fuck. I just fucked up. Fuck. Anyway, hello. I am Bernadette. Thank you for the birthday wishes. I appreciate that. I don't think that I was ready to um, be older than the number that I was because... It only reminded me of life and stuff. And uh, so I, um, you know, like people say, age is nothing but a number. And I'm uh, feeling pretty good about my health, except that I drink a lot. I drink a lot. I mean, I don't understand how I have a liver in the first place, the way I drink. Wow. It's amazing how I keep drinking and drinking and drinking. No. In here, there's like two and a half ounces of alcohol. Well, two and a half ounces. Two and a half shots of alcohol in here. Why I drink? Because I can, you know. Anyway, um, so thank you everybody for the birthday wishes. I appreciate that. Actually, I didn't think people really cared that much because I could be a bit of an asshole and sensitive. And for the people that still want to be my friend, thank you. Knowing that, are you guys ready to get dirty? When I mean dirty, I mean filthy, dirty. You ready? I'm ready. Because I'm not going to edit this shit. Fuck editing. I'm drunk. Fuck. Anyway, this broadcast is sponsored by my tits. Bam. And the whiskey that is within me right now. Because I'm fucking drunk. You know why? Because it's my fucking birthday. Wait, hold on. Is it still my birthday? Yes, it's still my birthday. It's 10 8. Anyway, how's everybody doing? Doing good? Looking sexy? Great. Anyway, um, everybody knows I'm single, right? I mean, I have not really mentioned that in depth but I think people know that I'm fucking single as a motherfucker 
you know, being single, it's okay, it really is, but uh, the whole sex thing that couples do is the only thing that's really missing because I can take care of myself 90% of the time when I'm, when I'm not drunk. I'm drunk now, so anyway, whatever. Fuck it. So the only thing that bothers me about being single is the not sex having or the non sex having. You know, I was thinking about uh, buying a a body pillow. <laughs> Holy shit! Can you imagine me and a body pillow together at midnight, drunk? You know, so uh, that's my dating life. Let's see here. Uh, you know, I'm an athlete. I know I've said it so many times that you already know I'm an athlete, but I am an amazing athlete. I play softball. I haven't boxed in a long time, but I need to get back into boxing. The thing about boxing is scaring people. Because if you look at me, you wouldn't tell. You couldn't tell that I know how to, to box because I'm small and I'm a woman. So when some people ask me about that, they are kind of like really shocked because... You know, they don't think of a woman as being a boxer, even though there's a lot of women box, a lot of women boxing nowadays. You know, but I like boxing. It, I like scaring people. Actually, that's the main reason why I like boxing. I like scaring people because um, it's fulfilling to me to know that I could beat somebody up. It's liberating. Speaking of scaring people, did you know that Halloween is my favorite holiday? Can I say holiday? Is it a holiday? I don't know. Is it a holiday? I'll say holiday. You know why? Because I could dress up. A black woman dressing up. Go into a white neighborhood and not get fucking shot. Isn't that the most beautiful thing in the whole wide fucking world to dress up and not get shot but anyway some people don't understand that but I just want to point that out because that is so true because of what's happening in this fucking world that we live in holy shit I am drunk as a motherfucker anyway politics Donald fucking Trump. Are you fucking kidding me? How are you going to say the things that you say and think you're going to be president? I mean, my God, are you fucking serious? I mean, imagine if President Obama said the exact same things that he was saying. He wouldn't even get the Democratic nomination if Obama said those things. Hold on, my mom is talking to me. Be right back. What? What else did I got one for mom? I don't know, mom. Hamburger patty, milk, hot lunch, potatoes, hamburger helper. No. I got milk on here. Hamburger patty. Flour, leave some flour. A small thing of flour, a small yes. thing of sugar. Yes. Anything else? S-U-G-A-R. S-U-G-A-R. What else do you... Some stuff to make chili. Some stuff to make chili? Hold on, I gotta pause this shit. Anyway, I'm back. 
My parent, she likes to talk a lot. <sighs> my parent, my parent likes to talk a lot. And uh, it's, I am not a talker. I'm barely a listener, but when somebody just talks and talks and talks, I go into a happy place. And by the way, I have to pause this because my mom is talking again. Pause. Okay, so my parent... <sighs> My parent likes to talk a lot. And like I said, I'm not a talker. Uh, but that's okay because that's good enough. Listening is good enough. Talking, not so much. Anyway, um, I would like to talk about how I want to be, well, how I got into um, comedy. So, here we go. I feel like I've always been funny. Even as a little kid. So, uh, as a kid, when I was a kid, being funny was like kind of like uh, insecurities because I wasn't smart. And I was athletic. And I wanted people to like me. So, I just thought that being funny was the way to have people like me and it worked kind of sort of even though I think sometimes people are, are, are annoyed that I have a smart mouth not so much being funny because people like me being funny it's just I'm a smart ass sometimes and that shows up when I'm trying to be funny uh, anyway I'm drunk I'm eating hallelujah so um comedy so uh being funny was for me uh thing to relate to people because everybody likes to laugh a lot and i feel like well if i could make people laugh they could be my friend because i have nothing else to offer that's what i thought inside so being funny was the way to go so I, uh, a couple years ago, I got into improv. My mom is talking again, so I deposit. You're welcome. You know, my parent likes to talk. So I think that the older I get, the more it's about her. It's not about me. Because since I'm the only child, I think it should be about me 99.9% of the time. No, it's about her. <sighs> Have I told you that I'm drunk? I probably said that like six times already. You're welcome. I hope you get a good laugh out of this because, oh, oh my God. Holy shit. Anyway, um, comedy, yes. So I took comedy classes in 2014 because why not, you know? Why not see what I have to offer to people? And it went pretty well, you know? I did pretty well, you know? Not as well as I would like to because improv is pretty hard. I thought it was going to be simple, but it was pretty hard. So I decided to do it anyway because nah, I'm not a quitter. I'm not a fucking quitter. Fuck quitting. Quitting is for quitters. If you're not quitting, you're winning. And I'm a winner, not a quitter. Quitters quit, winners win. That makes sense, doesn't it? That's not the alcohol talking. Anyway. I took some improv classes and it helped me a lot. It helped me to the point that I was thinking about doing stand-up. 
I wasn't fully committed to it yet, but I was just thinking about it. So last year I got my certificate by for completing our improv classes. And this year in January, I was thinking about doing stand-up like seriously. So I, January, February, so somewhere around there, I decided, you know what? Damn it. Maybe I should do stand up. Why the fuck not? You know, why not try to do stand up? You know. So I uh, started writing, gathering material, if you will. Planned a date. Kept writing. Actually, writing is the hardest thing about doing stand up comedy, because when I have the material, I'm on it. Because I'm a genius, of course. But writing, getting everything like together, it's it's hard. So I'm gonna take a class on comedy writing for like a five minute set, three to five minute set, so I could so I could so I could write quicker and do comedy quicker or do like comedy shows quicker because I wanna be a headliner. That's the goal for me. Being a headliner. And if I be a headliner, that's when people start noticing you. And I want to get noticed because I could do this. I'm funny. Sometimes I'm dry. Like my vagina. <laughs> that, that was funny. And sometimes I'm wet. Not like my vagina. <laughs> Holy shit. But anyway, this whole experience of my life, especially with comedy, is the, the fact that I'm being, being vulnerable. And that is something that is hard for me even to this day, being vulnerable. So um, through comedy, I feel like that's helping me a little bit. But I still have a ways to go. So I just want to say thank you for supporting me and being on this journey with me. Because without people that care about me. Hold on. My mom is talking to me. So uh, I forgot what I was talking about. I think I was talking about comedy. And my mom, my parent, mom, whatever. I don't give a fuck anymore. I had to pause it because she likes to talk. And if I don't give her attention. Hmm. Yeah. So, I think I was talking about comedy. Let's see here. Where was I? Anyway, I'll, I'll just say this about comedy. Um, I feel like I have a future in comedy. I mean... It opens me up to being vulnerable in front of uh, people on stage and actually being on stage for the first time when I did my comedy, stand-up comedy, I was nervous before I got before I got up on stage, but when I was on stage, I felt really, really comfortable and uh, unafraid and uh, hopefully when I get my writing organized, I could be quicker, bang, 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 quicker, and I uh, could be more fluent in my words that I say, because I'm drunk right now, but in comedy, I, I feel like I need to be quicker with the trigger, so hopefully the comedy classes or workshops will help. So there you go. That's the smallest thing. Smallest point. Oh, fuck. So that's a little bit about my life. Just a little bit. And I'm a ultra, vi ultra private person. Ultra. <sighs> I'm a really private person. So I don't really talk about certain stuff about my life. But uh, I decided to share because... What the fuck, you know? 
I love you guys. I don't say it all the time, rarely, but you guys are pretty awesome, and uh, thank you for supporting me, and uh, when I make it big, I am not going to forget you. Seriously, I'm not, because you guys have supported me when I was a fuck up. And when I mean fuck up, I mean fucked up. So, there you go. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this video documentary of me, or v v video blogging, or video biography, or whatever the fuck you call it. I don't give a fuck. I'm drunk. I don't give a fuck. Anyway, thank you, and um, thank you again for the birthday wishes. Seriously? Seriously. That means a lot to me, because, you know... I'm not very good at being social, so so uh, when people display or say their feelings towards me, it's, it's extra special. So thank you again. Thank you. Hope you like it. Comment, like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hopefully I could make a video once a week or twice a week, depending on how drunk I am. <laughs> Just kidding. Go fuck yourselves. And if you were offended by any fuck words or anything I've said, go fuck yourselves. I'm out. Thank you. Good night.